Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to make this mechanism in Blender. So let's start. Press A, uh, A, X, sorry, X and delete. Click on add mesh, click on gauge and master. It is a free add on. Check out the link in description. Increase the number of teeth as per your requirement. In my case, uh, 40 is the number of teeth here and 20 is here. Uh, let's increase the width. Um, 1.5 is fine. Okay, so uh, click on add mesh, click on gauge and master, click on here, click on be well. This time 20 and this time here 40 and this width will be 1.5. Okay, so increase the whole diameter. Select this, press shift S, press to be selected, select this, shift S, search to cursor, press R, X. Uh, 90 uh, notice my gear is not correctly engaged so select this press ctrl a and apply only and only rotation select this press r y zoom in make sure that they are not interfering uh, one. Yep, that was fine. So, what will be the next step? Uh, so, what I'm going to do now is I will add a I will add two more people here. So, click on here. Uh, before adding that, let's make some other parts and mechanism without that because it is difficult to work. So, what I will do, select this, press tab, press control uh, R, sorry, press control Z, I accidentally triangulated. Select this, tab, press control R, scale it down, go to the face action mode, select this face, press E. So, this is what I got. Now, what I have to do is, uh, Add a cylinder. Increase its height. G Z. That. That. G Y. Then. Select this, press shift, uh, so shift as first to be selected, add a cylinder here, R, X, 90, G, Y, press control A, apply rotation, press S and shift Y so that it can scale along all axis except Y. Press control one tab click on divide icon go to the face action mode select this face and by pressing shift select this face press i right click um, loop tool reach
x reverses f f बड़े लोग के g set okay select this press s press shift y so scale it down till you can see this okay i have to make it bigger or by scale shift y Now I can able to properly be the see tab select these faces, this option more uh now what uh press shift as plus to be selected click on add mesh click on gauge and master test click on the uh bevel type 20 by 20 uh decrease the width step okay uh Now press R X ninety oh, sorry R X minus nineteen minus press shift as uh, press to be selected press G X uh, Y select this press shift D R X R X Minus ninety. I forgot to make it work. Well, no worries. Seven. Select this. Press R. Z. Make sure it's correct. Select this. Press Control A. Apply rotation. Same goes for here. By pressing control, by pressing shift at this one, this one, and this one, and at the end, at the last, like this one. No, sorry, at the last, like this one. Press control P, location. So you can see it will rotate. Now I want to add some constraints. So, if you able to realize it, this is a bevel gear and the gear ratio is uh, 1 ratio 2. So, what it means? So, if this gear rotates 360 degree, this will rotate 720 degree. But in my case, this gear is fixed. And so, this is how I will define a gear ratio. So, like this, I press this, press control P, I check. Now, I will select this. Uh, press control A, apply rotation to make it 0, 0. Okay, it's already here. So if I rotate, you can see it's rotating. That's a good thing. And I want to rotate this as well. What axis? Y axis. Air drivers. Uh, from where I'm taking my input from? Uh, I don't know. Some main cylinder. Like this. Uh, right. Edit drivers. Click here. Main cylinder. What I'm taking, I'm taking the Z rotation. What I want, I want to rotate it two times. Let's see if it's working or not. And Z. Okay, it's working, but it's wrong direction. So select this, edit driver. Just uh, type minus at the front. Now it will work. Notice it is working fine. Make it zero. Select this one, uh, right click, add drivers, from where I am taking this driver, uh, 
I am taking from Vval002. What I am taking? Taking is by rotation. So let's see if it is working or not. Set this R set. Hmm, not working. Right click, details. Okay, first. Okay, my mistake. I choose the wrong gear. So right click, edit drivers. Uh, add drivers. Uh, first, this one Y rotation. Um, yeah, I think this is this is fine. It's so like this. Yep, it's rotating. So like this one. I want to rotate along that axis. Right click. Add drivers. Five. What I'm taking? Y rotation minus. Okay, minus will not be there. I guess. Add edit drivers. Like this. Yep, it's working right now. There's still lots of work left. So like this tab. Let's make it zero first so that it will be easier for us to edit. Um, make it zero. So like this tab and GY. I have to here is fine. Press Ctrl A, apply scale, and select so this one. Press Shift S, press to select it. Add cylinder. Reduce its height. Let's move along. And click on add mesh cube. G is that scale along the axis. Scale zero. Uh, by G Z. It's like this, like this. Press Control P, object. It's like this, it's like this. Press Control P, object. Now let's see if it's working or not. I don't know. Uh, this make it zero first. Select this lambda by shift select this. Let's control the object. Select this and 
Yep, look like it's working. It draws a straight line. So how can I see the straight line? That's also a thing. So what I can do? Uh, right click. Select this point. Shift as plus two is selected. Okay, one. Shift as plus two is selected. Add a simple empty here. Select this empty by passing shift like this one. Check. Select this and before I do animation, mm, just select this thing and motion paths. Click on calculate. Okay, why it doesn't make anything because. I doesn't use any kind of driver animation so to, to work this I need something you know I need something animation so I will go here make it zero tap zero here and go to the B type 360 tab plus A B linear and click on play now add the you know calculation parts like this empty click on update all paths so this is what it looks like i hope you guys learned something from this video if you have any kind of doubts and queries you can ask and yeah i know the topology is garbage uh, the main aim is just to show you how to make this mechanism and tutorial but if you look at the gear animation they are highly accurate notice there is not a single issue there so that is the advantage of making this thing okay why the hell is that cylinder okay why is that cylinder that have or shape i don't know did i make some mistake I just want, don't want to show you just now. right click shape it was small. So if I click on play. So yeah, that's for all. Hi, I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you have any kind of doubts and queries, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.